In the previous video, we showed how to use clothes exported from Marvelous Designer or Clo in the OBJ format and animated in Unreal Editor using you Draper wrapping without simulation. In this tutorial, we are going to show how to use this functionality with some ready-to-wear garments created for Reillusion Character Creator and DAS 3D avatars. Let's start with a CC3 character. Special thanks to Style Marshall who gave us many great ideas on these 3D assets to experiment with. Let's take a look at the sample close OBJ files that we want to use in Unreal Engine along with a CC3 character. As we discussed in the first part of this tutorial, it is very important that the garments fit the avatar perfectly and avoid any visible crossings of the body through the clothes like we see here. We are going to quickly fix this fitting pose to rectify this issue. Now, let's take a look at the accompanying material file, MTL. We see that in addition to the garment's materials, it also contains references to all other avatar's materials, which we don't need. So, we are going to skip them in the future when importing this garment. Since the CC3 character doesn't require any special collider mesh, we can add the Draper simulation component directly to the character skeletal mesh. Then we can add Draper garment components for each of the tree garments we plan to import. The pants. The swimsuit. And the bodysuit. Click the import button and select an OBJ file for the pants. We are going to specify a different output folder name. Skip the texture processing for now. Disable cloth simulation. Skip validation. And skip unreferenced materials because we don't need all these avatar materials to be associated with our garment. Click import. If there are no errors, you should see this notification that the garment doesn't have any simulation data and the simulation will be disabled. Adjust the position of the imported garment and make sure that it fits perfectly to your character size and pose. We can add some material to the pants. Let's use this camouflage fabric. You may need to adjust the UV scale. When we click the Save button, we generate the wrapping information, and the garment will move together with the character. Let's add an animation sequence and check it out. In the same way, let's add a swimsuit. Position the swimsuit to fit the character. Save the swimsuit to enable the wrapping. We're going to add a nylon material just for kicks. Save our new material. 
Note that unlike low FPS with our cyberpunk suit in the first part, we have much high FPS with this swimsuit because of the much lower number of vertices. Only 40,000 versus 300,000 vertices in the previous video. Let's enable the pants now. Since we want the swimsuit to be under the pants, we position the swimsuit first in the Draper editor list. Let's try to animate using Sequencer. When we play the animation, the clothes are moving with the body as they should. However, we can see noticeable pixel jittering caused by fast approximate anti-aliasing. If we switch to temporal anti-aliasing, the rendering can be quite blurry. This problem can be rectified by using the movie render queue and overriding anti-aliasing settings. Let's try another outfit made for CC3 character we found on Sketchfab. It consists of a tank top and pants, plus the belt parts. We are going to separate the top and the pants and export them separately. Let's add a couple of scene components to separate our outfits, and add new draper garment components for our new suit. The pants. The top. And the belt. Then we proceed to import our OBJ files. Use transforms to position the garment on the avatar. If the imported garment fits well, we save it to enable the wrapping. Let's create a new material from the textures we've downloaded for this suit. We've got the color, normal, metallic, roughness, and ambient occlusion maps. As we've showed in the previous tutorial, we need to add the material function call to our material graph. Then specify mf underscore draper wpo for the material function name. Connect mf draper wpo function call to your material result nodes world position offset pin. 
Now we can apply this new material to the suit parts. Let's try the same approach with garments exported from DAS. We are going to export these shorts in OBJ format. In Unreal Editor, we add our Genesis 8 female character to the scene and add the Draper simulation component to the skeletal mesh. In the same way as before, we click import and select our shorts obj file. However, this time we are getting errors and when eventually the garment is opened, it looks strange. It turns out that the obj file exported from DAS consists of many small bits that we don't know how to handle yet. For comparison, if we export the same garment in FBX format, it comes out in one piece. So if we export it from Maya as OBJ file, we should be able to import it into Unreal Editor without this problem. Now we just need to set up the materials with the textures exported from DAS. Here we need to adjust the UV scaling. After hitting save and reload the shorts finally look fine. This concludes the second part of this tutorial on how to import and animate ready to wear garments in OBJ format in Unreal Engine using UDraper without skinning. In the next video, we are going to show how to use the same approach to quickly add shoes to your characters.